Welcome to Whole30 Shopping at Whole Foods. All of these items were compatible at the time of filming, but be sure to always check your labels. One of my favorite things about Whole Foods is their convenience items, like the pre-made dips. I love the pico de gallo as a snack or on top of a baked salad or just to add some extra flavor to any dish. And the guacamole is also one of my favorite things to grab anytime I don't feel like making guacamole on my own. I love making meal prep easy by grabbing pre-prepared veggies like these pre-spiralized and cut squash. So nice to not have to do that myself. Speaking of not having to do it myself, beets are super hard for me to work with for some reason. So I love being able to grab pre-cut, pre-marinated, ready-to-eat beets. These are plain vinegar, but they had a few other compatible flavors as well. As always, just be sure to read your label. Dates are another Whole30 staple that are um, a quick and easy grab in the produce section. Just be sure to check the label, make sure the only ingredient is, in fact, dates. I love the bulk section of Whole Foods. One of my favorite things is getting fresh ground nut butter. As you can see here, they have grind your own almond butter. They also have a bunch of pre-packaged bulk items like chia, flax, and hemp seeds. And then they have a ton of things like nuts, seeds, and dried fruit available for you to weigh out yourself. Just be sure there's no added sugar in any of those dried fruits that can be sneaky. I love seeing Whole30 approved partners out in the wild, like these Applegate hot dogs. You can see that Whole30 approved logo in the top right hand corner. And I was super, super excited to see these chicken breast strips. I hate touching raw chicken, so I definitely grabbed these to make my life a little easier. For pantry staples, ghee is clarified butter. It is a staple in the Whole30. I happened to grab this Whole30 approved brand, Fourth and Heart, but they had a ton of other compatible options as well. I also picked up some avocado oil, which is my favorite oil um, for cooking on and off the Whole30. Next, I grabbed some Kettle and Fire broth. They have a ton of different flavor options. Um, and they also have veggie and chicken, which is really great. This is Whole30 approved, but here's the label so that you can look at. Don't discount canned vegetables. It's a great way to save some money, save some fridge space, and try new veggies in a different format. These were compatible, which I was really happy about. I, of course, grabbed my favorite taco seasoning, the Siete Mild. The spicy is actually pretty spicy, and I say that as someone who eats a lot of spicy food, but they are both so good. This Whole30 approved teriyaki was an immediate add to cart because then I don't have to make teriyaki myself, but if you wanted to, they also have Whole30 approved coconut amino. I'm using nut butter here as the example, but what I wanted to feature is really the fact that there are so many options now. So almond butter on its own is compatible. Um, and here we have three different brands at three different price points. And I just thought that that was really great to see so many compatible options in the store and be able to pick the one that's best for you and your family. I personally grabbed Georgia Grinders. One of my favorite Whole30 sauces to have on hand is a pizza sauce, and it's actually really hard to find a compatible one. So you know I stocked up on this Whole Foods brand pizza sauce. Another thing I want to point out is that just because a brand has Whole30 approved products does not mean all of their products are in fact Whole30 compatible. So keep an eye out for that Whole30 approved logo or be sure to read the labels. This was a new find for me. This is compatible coconut yogurt. I love finding new ways to get my probiotics and so I grabbed this to try. We'll report back on how it is. Frozen veggies are by far and large my favorite thing. Um, frozen cauliflower, kale, and spinach are my three favorites, but basically I just throw frozen vegetables in anything. They're a staple. I love Kite Hill cream cheese. I love being able to make omelets with this. Um, and again, these are Whole30 approved, so check that logo in the bottom right hand corner. Whole Foods is a great place to see a lot of our partners. On my food freedom and on my Whole30, a meat stick is my favorite snack. I am partial to the Italian beef chomps, but we have so many Whole30 approved and compatible options. Then another great snack, of course, is salsa. Um, it's great with veggies. I love a carrot chip dipped in salsa. And again, here's a Whole Foods brand that is compatible. So that was really exciting. And I also saw some other Whole30 approved dips like Primal Kitchens, plant-based queso, and ranch dip. 
Then my last snack to grab always is olives. Olives can actually be really difficult to find compatible options, but these were Whole Foods brand and they looked so good, I grabbed an entire bag. Of course, you can't go to Whole Foods and not hit up the hot bar. Everyone knows this. There were so many compatible options. Again, this changes frequently. Honestly, it changes every day at my Whole Foods. So this may not be the case for yours, but be sure to read your labels. There were so many compatible things on the hot and cold bar that if you just didn't want a meal prep or wanted to grab a last minute bite to eat, it's great. Also, literally never before seen for me was a compatible rotisserie chicken. Again, I hate touching raw chicken. This made my entire day. I hope y'all have fun shopping at Whole Foods and be sure to like and subscribe to see more from us here at Whole30.